Hi, my name is Nicholas Lohman. I'm a Partner Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. Today I have Rick with, here with me from Red Hat. Hi Nick, thanks for having me. My name is Rick Ricardo Garcia and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager at Red Hat, uh, focused mostly on SAP customers. Today we're going to be talking about hardening our SAP systems. So, when we talk about hardening, we're talking about making them a little bit more secure. In some cases, a lot more secure. You know, secure, good security is all about having multiple layers of security. It's like having multiple fences in front of your home. One, you know, one's good, an additional layer of security, like maybe a fence and maybe a, a, a security system. You know, you have two of those together, it's better than either one of them by themselves. That's true. So, one way we can do that is through um, SE Linux. And SC Linux is a man is a set of mandatory access controls that are implemented at the kernel layer. So it's a lot of access controls that can prevent changes from being made to the system at the kernel layer. So it is integral, it's an integral part of the operating system. It's not like a, a security system that you're adding on top of the OS. It is integral to the system. Yes, that's the interesting well, part, you know. So yeah, it considers the different resources in the system, like files, like processes, and it says who has access to those different resources. So yeah, it's very granular, the access control. Absolutely. There's three different modes that SE Linux can operate in. One is disabled which is what is often used in testing. The second mode is permissive. So permissive is very similar to disabled. It's not going to add any level of security to your system. Neither disabled nor permissive are going to add any, any security to your system. What happens in permissive is that if there is a change that occurs that SC Linux would have would have blocked or prevented, it's going to take and it's going to write that to a log. And the reason, the intention behind that is so if you're working on something that you want to be able to run in an SC Linux environment, you want to be able to run it in permissive mode, and permissive mode is a tool that is used to be able to see what changes are going to be blocked. Now, and based off of that, you can make decisions of whether permissions need to be added uh, or if maybe tasks need to be altered. And so it's another way to test, right, what's going to happen in your system. Absolutely. The third method, third mode is enforcing. Enforcing is where all of these benefits of SC Linux and our mandatory access controls are going to help harden this system. Because enforcing, whenever there's a change that is being requested to be made on the system, if the permission is not there, it's denied. Right. It, does not ha it does not pass go, does not collect $200, it is denied. So we want to get our systems into enforcing mode because that allows us to take advantage of the extra security features of SE Linux. Uh, it's also, it's also uh, useful to note that SAP released an OSS note that, it, it, that they approve uh, utilizing SE Linux in enforcing mode on HANA systems. Yeah, that's so, what we'll say last year it was for the RHEL 8. Uh, so yeah, and, and that's a lot of security for that and uh, it will be very useful for many customers to be able to run as a Linux uh, for his, uh, in enforcing mode for SAP HANA. What does a customer have to buy if they already have systems running on RHEL for SAP in order to be able to take advantage of this? Is this an expensive Nothing. thing? Uh, no, so as a Linux, it's, uh, it's already included. I mean, it's, it's part, as you said, of the kernel of the it's, operating so system. It's so it's integral. It's not going to cost you anything yeah, else. Yeah. Nothing else has to be bought. It's integrated. Right. We like those things. <laughs> How about that? 
So the other thing, another way we're going to, thing that we're going to talk about today in hardening, is CIS hardening. That stands for the, the Center of Internet Security has come up with a list of security controls that they consider best practice for systems. This is a long list of controls that can be implemented on SAP systems. You can implement it on non-SAP systems and, and uh, RHEL systems, but it's also available for RHEL for SAP systems. So what happens is we're going to download an open SCAP playbook, and it's going to look something like that. SCAP is a security control application protocol. Uh, automation protocol. Automation protocol, yeah. Um, so all it, all it's saying that is, it's gonna, it's an autom it's a way to use automation to apply these security controls. This package right here, this is downloaded from a Red Hat repository, which means that it is supported by Red Hat, and it's and which is very important, you, especially when you're getting security controls. You want to make sure that you're getting those from an accredited and certified source. Absolutely. And also, somebody that whenever you call and say, hey, I applied uh, this uh, OpenSCAP CIS playbook, and they're going to go, oh, where'd you download that from? <laughs> like, or they're going to look at an SOS report and go, where'd you download that from? And you can say, that came from a Red Hat repository. That means that's going to be supported. So in applying this playbook to a RHEL for SAP uh, system, it, it can be done with Ansible on a specific system as a single system. We can also apply both of these tools to a fleet of SAP systems using Ansible with playbooks. And if we do that, then we don't have to go into each and individual system. We can apply these changes to a fleet of systems, and then that'll go into an auditable change log, which, which is going to be documentation for us to be able to show that we apply, made these changes to our security, we applied all of these security groups, and we made these changes to be able to make our systems more secure. Right, and actually you can add this to your template of deployment of uh, SAP systems. So in the workflow that you create on Ansible Automation Platform, that could be one step as well. So when you're configuring the operating system, you will have your SLinux uh, in enforcement mode, and you can also the playbook to apply the, the CIS benchmark. So yeah, that could be perfectly part of your template or workflow. So when I, so I've already applied this to my existing fleet, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to add that to my uh, my playbook workflow for deploying new instances. So that whenever those new instances come online and they're tested, they already have all of this right. implemented yeah. and they're available. They're uh, all already there. That's right. awesome. And they will be at the same level, same configuration exactly. So yeah, no configuration drifts. So yeah. And the auditable change log is something that you can share with your security officer and say, hey, <laughs> send them data and say, hey, these controls have been implemented on all of our SAP systems. And I'm sure not sure. I don't think he'll complain about any of that. <laughs> it will save you a lot of, of headaches, I'm sure. Absolutely. The fact that you can utilize playbooks to implement both of these, and there's a lot of, I mean, we talked about these here, as in, but we have abstracted away how many controls there are, because if you go and you look up the CIS hardening benchmark, there are a lot of controls in there. Many, it's, many. It, it's a lot. It's, it's not a short list. Mm -hmm. That would take you a long time to implement all that, and not only that, yes, that would be prone to errors because if you have to go through all that list, it's very easy to miss one of those controls of the benchmark, and you don't want that. Absolutely. That brings up another point, is with Ansible and the way that it works and its item potency, you can rerun this playbook, and what will happen is that if all of the systems or all of these controls are still in place tomorrow, well, it's not going to make any changes. If there is one system that has, let's say, SE Linux was set to permissive instead of enforcing, 
it can make that change again for you on it. And you can run this playbook every day. So in that regard, when you're sending a report to your, informa your information, so your security officer, say, hey, these are the security controls that we've implemented in our SAP systems. Not only that, we're gonna run a playbook on a daily basis that ensures that these controls are still in place. And we can set up an alert that will alert you if any of these controls changed. And that's a great point, actually, because it's very important. It will modify what has been already done in the, in the host, but if there's something missing, it will run it. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Rick, for coming mm -hmm. by and teaching us Thank about you, this. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by and uh, learning about, more about how to harden SAP systems.